When I got back to the park, I was sad that I was leaving the van. Fast forward about four months, and now I am really sad to be leaving the cabin and going back into the van. But here we are. Stop clicking around. Despite my best efforts, the last week has arrived, and despite me trying to pretend like it wasn't happening, I'm starting to wake up with anxiety at about 4 a.m. about all the things that have to happen for me to move into the van again. Change sucks. Yeah. What I have to do now is go through all of this stuff and kind of arrange it by what's going to go where. I think that's going to be step one. Can you sit and stop clicking? This is what's been in the garage all this time. Um, I have one bin that I purchased that's like got a nice fitted top and it's like organized somewhat. The other two are just for some reason open top bins that I've never had the tops for. I just did some measurements to figure out how many more of these nice bins I can buy to um, get rid of these other things. Right now I'm going to go through this stuff, see if I can't get rid of some things, and then whatever I can't get rid of, try to put it back into some sort of order. That's my goal for now. I feel like once I do this, I'm going to feel a lot better about everything. I hope. Oh. You gonna help me? That's a no. Okay, I'm in the van trying to figure this out. So the thing is, is that I built out this new cabinet area here with the new countertop and then I hit the road. So it's never actually been in operation. So I don't really know how to put stuff in here. Like I don't have a plan for where everything's going to go. So. Round one, transported out, mostly trash, but it's a start. Someone's excited to be back in the van. Last night I was up all night because there was some critter outside my door scratching at the door all night long. I'm exhausted, but uh, because I'm on this time crunch, I'm going to do a little bit in the van. So I wanna work on these upper cabinets. I have like a contact paper down on the bottom that is nice because it protects the wood in case anything that I keep in there spills. But it's kind of bubbling up and never really stuck that well in the first place. So I'm going to go through and just use some of this leftover non-slip, non-slip mat stuff. And I'm so tired. I think this is what's making all that noise. Yeah. It's not even stuck on there. So nice. It's gonna stay like this for like five minutes, but look at that. It's cold and windy today. We are heading to the big city. I'm gonna go get a bunch of those bins, which turns out those bins are actually the perfect size to fit side by side and stacked on top of each other. So the garage is going to get way more organized and I'm getting this hair under control because this is too much. I um, got the bins for the garage in the van. Now I have to take the stuff that's here in the cabin and start organizing it into the bins. Then I can move that stuff out and then make a little bit more space to clean in here before I have to get out. So I have about two days and uh, I have to be out of here.
I don't think that's salvageable. Might have to make a little trip to town. Okay, yeah, I had to get new paint. That can of paint is a goner, which sucks because that's the third, what is that, a quart? It's the third quart I bought for this project. The first one I just ordered in another color that wasn't the right color. Uh, the second one I apparently let it freeze at some point. Uh, so I bought another one. This one's a color match, which we will see if that works or not. But um, just grabbing some lunch and we're gonna head back to the park and I really wanna get this painting done today, even though it is like 30 degrees and I really don't wanna do that. I just realized putting handles here, not gonna work. This is as far out as it'll go. And it's already very close. So it looks like it's just gonna stay like this. I'm really excited to have all the spices and vitamins and stuff down in here because I can look down into the drawer before it was up in the uh, upper cabinet and I had to like do the whole like, head balance thing and get stuff out of there. So it's really hard to find spices like when I'm cooking. So I'm excited to have it be down at this level. still so much to do to move. I've been in this cabin for what four months and I just don't I was very conscious about not accumulating a lot of stuff and I have accumulated some stuff of course but um it's just amazing like moving it back into the van. How does this much stuff fit into the van? But it does and I have to move it all. Okay, yeah, I've moved in, but barely. We gotta clean this mess up. But we're out of the cabin, so we made it out with much stress and anxiety, but we did it. Right, Worm? Yeah. All right, we're parked in our spot and plugged in. I started to drain the tank because I have a food safe antifreeze in it that's been in there all winter, so I had to get that stuff out of there. But of course now it's uh, sleeting and raining and really cold and windy, so it's just not the time that I wanna be out there. So instead I'm working on getting all this stuff that's in here that I just threw in here um, back together and put figured out where to put it. The change sucks, but I am starting to remember some of the reasons that I really love living in a van. Um, especially when it's like cold and rainy like this and I get to be cozy inside with my heater going. I do always love that. But I'll feel so much better once I have all this stuff put away. All right, I made the bed. Already feels better, huh, Sailor? Yeah, that feels cozy. All right, we're gonna put on these little magnet things. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. How do people do this shit? my RV spot that I'm going to be in for the summer season and um, as predicted everything ended up in the move it started all organized and then it became one giant pile of junk in the middle of the floor in the van just because I had to get out in time because somebody else was moving into the cabin so now today it is finally warm enough for me to drag everything back out and do it all again because I've been trying to live with this mess for two days and that is Two days too many. Does anyone have any suggestions for how to store Tupperware without it taking up all the space? The bane of my existence. So this extension cord is too short. I had to get a new 15 gauge one when that outlet down there melted. Um, so I got this thing, which is nice. It has a bunch of outlets and it's 15 gauge. So it is safe for like the heater and stove and stuff like that. But this one I got to plug into the inverter in the back does not reach because I can't reach that counter over there. So I'm gonna swap it out for this 25 foot one, which is way more than I need, but I think that's the right move. Ooh, all the way over there. All right. That guy's out. Sailor does not like banging noises, popping noises. So me trying to get this, uh, these cords in and out of here freaking her out. Not the prettiest, but I have one like full day off this week and then the other two days I am traveling. So I have a list of things that have to happen today. Number one, this drawer, um, the new drawers that I built. Uh, one of them, the the slides have just never been quite right on them. They don't stay in the slides. Because they're not in the slides, it's kind of out a little bit. So when I open that refrigerator top, it kind of slides against that drawer because it's protruding a little bit. So I need to fix that because it's going to scratch up that drawer. sheet a little bit more okay so I have these little magnet things to hold the drawers closed um, I took it off of here which is why it looks like that um, and now it sits pretty flush so that's good okay I stuck the magnets in there they're kind of back there just being held and it looks like it'll work so I'm just gonna put the magnet down in here I think Two. 
I'm gonna do the polyurethane on the top of this new countertop. Uh, first, I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down with wet, with a wet paper towel. All right, let's seal it up. Okay, this is one coat in. I love that reflection. I'm out here in the forest with Sailor. So the cabinet has one coat of paint. I still need to do another there, but the countertop has three coats of poly. So that should be good. I cooked on it last night and it held up really great. So happy about that. If you have any questions on anything, let me know. If not, I will see you in the next video.